Good morrow, my sweet strangers. Welcome to my Crafty Handed channel. The summer's here, and with it the first summer fruits. I'm feasting on strawberries for the past two weeks already, thinking about how to prepare the next bowl. Hey, what about the strawberry sponge cake? That's easy. Let's start with measuring 8.8 .8 ounces of powdered sugar. As always, I like to sift it to get rid of any lumps. And while I have my scale out, I will also measure 10.6 ounces of all-purpose flour. Which I will sift in another bowl. And combine it with 2 teaspoons of baking powder. I take my sugar bowl and add one package of vanilla sugar for a hint of vanilla flavor. But if you like, you can use a dash of vanilla extract instead. Add 3 whole eggs and whisk on medium speed for about 5 minutes until the mixture turns fluffy and pale. You can start preheating your oven to 320 Fahrenheit. Line your pan with baking paper or aluminum foil and rinse your strawberries. See how the sugar with eggs get creamy? Now it's time to add our flour mixture. We will be adding it gradually with one cup of whipping cream. Take your time and keep adding a couple of spoons of flour and dash of cream over and over until you have nothing left. It took me about 5 more minutes to incorporate all the flour and whipping cream. The batter should be on the thicker side, so the fruit doesn't fall to the bottom of the pan, but not too thick. Look at my consistency and if you need to, just add a dash more of a cream or a milk if you need to make the batter a bit thinner. It's better to scrape the bowl throughout the mixing so you don't get any little lumps. Pour the batter into the lined pan. I'm using a regular 9 by 13 inch pan and spread it evenly. And it's the strawberry time! Try to be quick about it and cut the strawberries on the top of the cake evenly as fast as you can. Of course, if you want, you can pre-cut your strawberries while you are whipping the sugar with eggs. Place the pan in the preheated oven at 320 Fahrenheit and bake for about 30 to 35 minutes. You can test the cake with a toothpick or a skewer to see if the batter is not sticky anymore. And here it is. Deliciously moist and fluffy sponge cake with sweet strawberries lightly dusted with sugar. So yummy! I'm sure you'll love it! 